It's a really nice day today, and I just finished a book, so I'm having one of those just finished a book feelings. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it usually makes me want to be alone and do something kind of different from what I normally do. So I'm out here in the apple orchards of my hometown. Um, they're just getting to the point where their leaves are starting to grow. Let's see. The orchards are always nice to walk in. Sometimes they don't like you doing it. I think this is technically private property, but they're not really doing anything out here today. They have to keep the trees out here in like peak growing condition. So what they do is they actually trim off the extra parts. Oh, some birds just flew away. They have to trim off the extra parts of the tree each season because if they leave them on, the tree won't have enough energy to make fruit for all of those branches. Look at this guy. I never knew the swing was here. I'm wondering if Becca is the same Becca that I went to high school with. Becca got really sick and died when she was still in high school. I was in my first year of college. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in this part of the world where I happened to grow up and had to move back to after college. My college self assumed that I would have a full-time job and an apartment by now. And I don't have those things. But I have lots of other things that I care about. Especially becoming part of this church the past couple months, developing friendships within that group, and trying to maintain old college friendships that I care about, and trying to figure out what I really enjoy doing and what I value in life. I'm really lucky to be in the position that I'm in, even if I don't feel like it. Actually, I think the question of the day today is what my goals are. That might not be today's question, but if it is, this is like super relevant. My mom was telling me the other day that she thinks I've done a lot of growing in the past year. And I think she's right. When I finished my internship at the TV station and started working there, my goal was for it to be as temporary as possible. I wanted to get out of there as fast as I could. I was focusing so much on what I wanted to do next that I didn't have a chance to actually take in what was happening at the moment. And I know that sounds super cliche, but that's how it was. I think school had taught me to always be looking to the future, always be planning for the future, that I just got sucked into that mindset. And I think one big thing that I learned in the past year is that as much as you do have to look toward the future and plan and have goals, that taking care of yourself in the present is also important. Like, I think that me, a year ago, wouldn't have even been able to recognize that it's such a nice day outside today, and that it was such a good idea to come take a walk in the apple orchards. You know, that would have been a really nice segment if I didn't completely forget that I was uh, meant to take the car in to get some work done on it this afternoon. So much for being more perceptive of the world around me, right? I think I have some work to do on that front. Hi, Doug, this is Lucas. I just realized I completely missed my appointment this afternoon. I'm so sorry. Bye. Ah, <sighs> well, he seemed to be pretty okay about it. And I got to have a nice walk on a nice day. So I guess it wasn't that bad. I still feel really bad. Just got back from choir practice, but I don't have work tomorrow, so I'll actually be able to take the time to edit this video. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!